Hey everyone, I'm so glad you and your family decided to come to our 5 p.m. Christmas Eve service. I just want to give you a little bit of an overview of what to expect when you come. Number one, make sure you bring a mask. Make sure you put it over your nose and your mouth for the duration of the service. Again, if you're not feeling well or you are uncomfortable coming, please stay home and watch the online gathering. But when you come, check in here. You can proceed over and get some hand sanitizer. This is now normal, I know for all of us. We'll have temperature check too. And then an usher will walk with you into the doors. You can either bring your own chair or as you come in the doors, we'll have chairs for you. But on Christmas Eve, you'll notice right when you walk in, we'll have communion elements and a candle for you. So grab one of each for each member of your family. So you'll grab them, you'll grab your chair, and the ushers will take you to a seat so that everyone stays distance from one another. But you'll see there's marks on the floor. There's five different colors. When you get to your seat, you'll put your front of your chair on the line itself, and that makes sure that everyone stays distance while we are worshiping God on Christmas Eve. And bring your families, because we have an awesome kids moment planned by Bry Guy just for you, and I heard a rumor that there's going to be interactive gifts. So kids age four on up can uh, receive that, and our nursery will be open for kids three and younger. So get here early enough to both get your seat, check your kids in, and get ready to worship. Now when we leave, we're gonna use both doors. So there's an exit over there, there's an exit that you probably came in on, You'll leave your chair if you borrowed it. And when you are dismissed, either leave our chairs or take your chair and go out one of the exits, dropping your candle in the basket and your communion element trash in the trash on your way out. You can give an offering then if you want to as well, but we just pray that when you leave, you go ready to have an incredible Christmas. So I can't wait to see you Christmas Eve, five o'clock here in the Family Life Center of Grace Church. I'll see you soon.